many aircraft concepts, particularly in the early days of aviation and during periods of rapid technological advancement, were designed with unconventional features that never made it into production. There were often experimental testbeds for new ideas or ambitious projects that were too costly or impractical to realize. Here are 10 of the most unusual aircraft concepts that never made it into full production. Number 1. The Vought V-173 Nicknamed the Flying Pancake due to its distinctive shape, this was an experimental aircraft developed for the US Navy in 1940s. Its primary designer, Charles Zimmerman, aimed to create a plane with exceptional low-speed performance, a crucial trait for aircraft carrier operations. The V-173 featured a circular wing and two large counter-rotating propellers at the wingtips. This design allowed the entire aircraft to act as a lifting surface, generating immense lift and enabling it to take off and land in extremely short distances while it proved the viability of Zimmerman's concept with 130 hours of successful flight time. Even a test flight by Charles Lindbergh, the project was ultimately cancelled. The advance of jet engines in the post-World War II era promised superior speed and performance, rendering the piston-powered propeller-driven pancake obsolete before a production version could be fully realized. Ames Dryden AD-1 was a small research aircraft developed in the late 1970s to test the oblique wing concept. Its wing could pivot up to 60 degrees, allowing for efficiency at various speeds. During takeoff and landing, the wing was perpendicular to the fuselage for maximum lift, then pivoted to reduce drag as the plane sped up. The AD-1 completed 79 successful flights between 1979 and 1982, providing the concept's feasibility. Although its handling at extreme angles was poor, the data collected has influenced future aircraft designs using this wing configuration. Number 3. The Blom & Voss BV-141 The Blom & Voss BV-141 was a German reconnaissance aircraft from World War II, renowned for its highly unusual asymmetrical design. The fuselage and engine were on the right side of the aircraft, while the crew pod was a separate, extensively glazed nacelle on the left. The design was the brainchild of chief designer Richard Vogt, who aimed to provide the crew with unobstructed view of observation and photography missions. Despite its peculiar appearance, the BV-141 was surprisingly stable and performed well in trials. However, the German Air Ministry favored the more conventional Focke-Wulf FW-189 and the BV-141 never entered mass production. Only a handful of prototypes were ever built. The Grumman X-29, a groundbreaking American experimental aircraft that first flew in 1984, its most striking feature was its forward-swept wings, which were angled forward instead of backward like on conventional planes. This design offered potential benefits and maneuverability and lift at low speeds. However, a forward-swept wing is inherently unstable, requiring a sophisticated computer-controlled fly-by-wire system to make constant adjustments and prevent the aircraft from being uncontrollable. The X-29's wing structure was also made from lightweight carbon fiber composites to resist the stress of the design. The research gathered from the X-29's flight was invaluable, advancing the technology of flight control systems and composite materials even though the forward swept wing concept never made it into mass production. Number 5. The Northrop B-35 the Northrop B-35 was a radical flying wing bomber developed by the Northrop Corporation for the U.S. military during and after World War II. Its design championed by aviator pioneer Jack Northrop eliminated the need for a conventional fuselage and tail, aiming to reduce drag and increase aerodynamic efficiency. With a wingspan of 172 feet, the B-35 was powered by four piston engines driving pusher propellers. However, the aircraft was plagued by persistent technical issues, particularly with its complex propulsion system, and furthermore, the rapid advancement of jet engine technology rendered the propeller-driven design obsolete. The project was eventually cancelled, but its legacy lived on, paving the way 
for future flying wing aircraft like the stealthy B-2 Spirit Bomber. Number 6. The Bartini Bereave VVA-14 The bizarre Soviet amphibious aircraft designed in the 1970s. Its main purpose was to hunt American Polaris missile submarines and it was engineered to take off from water and fly low over the sea. The aircraft's strange catamaran-like fuselage it was intended to enable it to fly in ground effect, a state of low drag flight just above the water surface. However, the VVA-14 was a project riddled with technical difficulties. The planned vertical takeoff engines were never delivered and the amphibious landing gear proved unreliable. Ultimately, the project was abandoned. Today, the sole surviving VVA-14 prototype lies in a state of disrepair at a museum in Russia, a monument to a truly unique and unrealized aviation concept. Number 7. The Lockheed Martin P-791 The P-791 is an experimental hybrid airship that flew for the first time in 2006. It is a heavier-than-air vehicle that uniquely combines the buoyancy of an airship with an aerodynamic lift of a conventional aircraft. This design allows it to carry much heavier loads than a traditional blimp. The P-791 features a tri-hull shape and an air cushion landing system, enabling it to take off and land on virtually any surface including water without the need for a long runway. This capability makes it an ideal concept for delivering heavy cargo to remote, underdeveloped regions. Though the P-791 itself was a technology demonstrator, the research led to the development of the larger LMH-1 hybrid airship, which is now being offered commercially. The Boeing 797 Blended Wing Body Another radical commercial aircraft concept that was studied by Boeing and NASA in the early 2000s. The design merged the fuselage and wings into one continuous aerodynamic body, eliminating the distinct divisions seen in conventional aircraft. The configuration was intended to maximize fuel efficiency by creating lift across the entire airframe and reducing drag. As a potential successor to the Boeing 747 and a competitor to the Airbus A380, the Boeing 797 was envisioned to carry up to 1,000 passengers. However, the concept faced significant challenges, including the unconventional seating arrangements which were not popular with potential passengers and concerns over emergency evacuation procedures. While the design never moved past the research phase, the data from its small-scale prototypes like the S-48 continues to inform aviation research. Number 9. The Boeing 2707 the Boeing 2707 was an American supersonic transport project from the 1960s, intended to be a larger and faster rival to the European Concorde. Designed to carry up to 300 passengers at speeds of Mach 2.7, it was a centerpiece of the US government-funded program. Boeing's initial design featured variable sweep or swing wings to improve low-speed performance. The swing wing mechanism proved too heavy and complex, forcing a redesign to a conventional delta wing. Public opposition also grew over concerns about the sonic boom and environmental impact. Due to escalating costs, design challenges, and a changing economic climate, the US government cancelled the project in 1971 before any prototypes were completed. The Lockheed CL-1201 a staggering conceptual design from the late 1960s, a testament to Cold War ambition. The proposed nuclear-powered aircraft was to be the largest ever built, with an incredible wingspan of over 340 meters, three times the length of a football field. The concept was envisioned to serve two primary roles, a massive logistical transport, or even remarkably, an airborne aircraft carrier. As a flying carrier, it would house and deploy up to 22 tactical fighter jets. The nuclear reactor would allow the CLO-1201 to stay airborne for an astounding 41 days, with landing required only to resupply its crew. Due to the monumental technical challenges and astronomical costs, the CL-1201 never progressed beyond the design study, but it remains one of aviation's most fascinating what-if scenarios. And that's it guys, we're winding up the video for today, but we'll see you again in our next video. So until then, bye bye.